Web hosting control panels are essential for anyone with a website. They allow you to manage your website hosting, domain name, email, and security. There are many web hosting control panels to choose from, but the best one for Linux ARM64 architecture is Hestia Open Source Panel. It works well enough to host WordPress websites that have all the features required. In this video, we'll show you how to set up this amazing VPS control panel and use it to host a WordPress website. You can choose any VPS provider to install this panel. It worked with both AMD and ARM64 systems. You can even select the Raspberry Pi for this installation. If you want to get a cheap VPS provider, check the article in the description. Create a Linux server with Debian 10 or 11, Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, or later distributions using any provider you like. I used an Oracle Cloud Free Tier ARM64 machine for this video. After you deploy the server, connect to the server terminal using SSH. Now you can start the installation. First, enter this command to gain root access. Then update the available applications before installing the Hestia panel. Next, download the Hestia VPS control panel script. You can execute the script using this command. If it is not executable, try to execute it using this command forcefully. Now the installation script is running on your server. You just have to answer a few questions to proceed. It asks whether you like to continue the installation. Type Y to proceed. Enter a valid email address here to receive server updates and information. Next, enter a hostname for the server. Main domains are not used as hostnames, so they should be a subdomain. Installation may take a few minutes. Wait until it's finished. Now that the installation is finished, the server will restart automatically. While it restarts, copy the credentials from the screen to a notepad. You can close the SSH terminal. The necessary ports need to be opened as the next step. This will slightly differ depending on your VPS provider, but you can follow the steps. Navigate to the firewall section of the server and add these firewall rules. Add this IP range as a source. It will allow all IP ranges to connect to the server. Open TCP port 8083 here. If you have not already opened ports 80 and 443, you have to open them as well. Now you can copy and paste the admin URL into your browser to enter the control panel. This warning notice may indicate that your server doesn't have an SSL certificate. You can simply skip this through advanced options. Use the default credentials to log in to the dashboard. This is the Hestia control panel that includes all the features that an advanced web hosting panel should have. There are user management, website management, mail servers, and file management systems. Okay, let's start hosting a WordPress website on this web control panel. Go to the web tab of the control panel and click the Add Web Domain button. It asks you to create a standard user before adding a domain. Add a new standard user first.
After filling in all the fields, click the Save button at the top right. You have to log in as the standard user that you added. Go to the Users tab and click the small login icon in front of the user. OK, so now you log in as the new user. Go to the Web tab again. Now you can add a new domain, so enter your domain name. After you have added the domain, click the small pencil icon to install WordPress. In the edit section, you will see a button called Quick Install App at the top right. Click on it to navigate to the open source app section. You can install these apps with one click. Select WordPress, then you have to fill in some details such as site name, email, installation directory, WordPress password, and username. You are done with installing both the Hestia panel and WordPress. As a final step, point the domain toward the IP address. Go to the DNS provider of your domain and add a new A record. Here I have used a subdomain. If you use the root domain, you can enter the at symbol in the name field. As for the value, enter the IP address of the server, then save the record. The new DNS record will take some time to update. You can check it for about 2 to 3 minutes. You can check the DNS propagation using any DNS checker tool. Let's see how to add a free SSL certificate as well. Go back to the Edit Website section. Here you can tick on the Enable SSL Certificate option and also add the Automatic HTTPS Redirect option as well. After that, save the changes. It will generate a new SSL certificate for your site. Type your domain on the browser and check. As you can see, your WordPress website is now ready. Use the saved credentials to log into the WordPress dashboard. Here you can continue developing your website. If you any issues regarding the tutorial, open the question directly on the Minex community forum. Because most of the YouTube comments are missed from us. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Thank you for watching Minex.